News. Last month, the Surgeon General surprised a lot of people with one of the office's first advisories in a decade. We told you about this story. He suggested more people carry an opioid overdose antidote, especially if you know someone who takes opioids or is addicted to drugs like heroin. That's because the opioid crisis has turned into an epidemic, and drugs like naloxone and Narcan can save lives. But we found a local group a step ahead of the Surgeon General. 10 News reporter Phil Buck is here to talk about this. You've actually developed a relationship with the local Guardian Angels group over the last six months or so. Yeah, I did some stories with them last year and have stayed in touch. And then last month, one of them reached out to me and said, hey, you know, we just went through this training and now we're carrying Narcan with us out on patrol. And I thought, well, that's interesting. It seems like it mm -hmm. might be a story. Then about a week later, we see this announcement from the Surgeon General. And at that point, I said, okay, now, now it really looks like this is a story. So how did all of this happen? So one of their members thought this was a good idea and mm -hmm. started looking into how they could make it happen. And that got them in touch with this nonprofit organization, Safe Exchange Tampa. And the volunteers there put the Guardian Angels through this Narcan training, and they gave the Angels a number of Narcan doses to take with them out on patrol. And these things are not cheap. Yeah. These nasal administered units, the ones that the Guardian Angels are carrying, they can run over $100 a pop. Wow. And Safe Exchange Tampa also told the Angels if they run out, if they use these while they're out there, they will give them more to take them out with them on patrol. So have they had to use any of them yet then? Well, not yet. They've only been out on patrol, three patrols, since mm -hmm. they had the training and started taking the Narcan out with them. Uh, that's including the night that I went out with them in Ybor City. Okay. But they say they do come in contact with people who are overdosing from time to time when they're out on patrol. And normally they just call 911 in those cases. Mm -hmm. But in the case of an opioid overdose, having that Narcan on hand can sometimes be the difference between life and death if you're able to administer it right there on the spot. It on the really spot. is saving lives. It can be, yes, and, mm -hmm. uh, and we've got more on this story coming up tonight, Nightside. Right. It's also on the website right now. You can go there, watch it, share it on your social feeds. It's uh, all about the Guardian Angels carrying Narcan, this naloxone drug, uh, and it's all on the website. It's so interesting that they have decided to do this. It's one more step that they're doing out in the community. Well, and as we heard from the Surgeon General, they want more and more of you, yeah. me, everyday Everyone. people carrying it and knowing how to use it. Yeah. All right, Phil, thanks. Thanks.